Oh, well, yeah. Hello? Thank you. I totally, totally messed something up over here. I definitely did. Did I? Didn't I? I'm very confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing. Vikings on Netflix, did you watch The Ranch? Oh yeah, I've watched that before. It's a pretty good show. It's funny. Very funny. Okay, so... Those are what I pressed. So I skipped it, but... What? Well, I do know... I do remember that Buddy said that, you know, you have to go activate those manually. And then in the document there, that I have to activate the red ones manually. But... There's no new, like, doorways that have opened or anything. So, how am I supposed to reset something manually? If, unless it's out... Where, the, where that roof hatch is? I don't know. Good god. First 50 minutes and I'm already lost. Hello? Thank you. I have no sweet clue. Not a clue. Yeah, because there's no new entryways or nothing. Unless it's all out here? I don't know. Cargo area. Really isn't anything new. So, excuse me, nothing in there. I didn't see that. Or did I? I don't know. I don't even fucking know. Oh, it's not even a... Jesus Christ. Well. Lost. Recover cast or gas. I truly don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, yeah, like, why can't I... Open up the roof? How do I do that? How do I open up the roof? Explain that one to me. Do I shoot these? No. I don't know. Wow. Find a way. Okay, well, and then I can open the roof. But where the fuck do I go to do that? There's nothing in here, right? Correct. Yes, there's nothing in here.
I don't know what this game wants from me. Wow. Is that it? Can I go through here? No, probably not. Nope. So open the roof. Okay, but how? There's nothing else to interact with. There's absolutely nothing else to interact with. I interacted with the, uh... What the fuck's it called? This console that I'm going towards. And over there somewhere. Are you serious? Wait. Recover. Are you serious? Are you serious? How many times have I gone over there? And not once? How many times did I go over there? And not once did that indicator pop up. Do I have to, like, get so fucking close to something until it actually tells, uh, like, okay, I don't know. Head back to the cargo bay and activate the freight elevator from there. Over. I, I think I was over here at least two or three times, and not once did this, air quotes, light up. With the F button, obviously. I was over here two or three times, and not once did this, like, okay. Yeah. Really. Okay, cool. Love it. Oh my fucking Jesus! Are you fucking serious, dude? Fucking sneak up on me like that? You fucking moron. Two shots in the head, right? Yeah. Okay, so two shots takes him down permanently. I can say for sure that it's better than Resident Evil in terms of that, because, I mean, I, I do love Resident Evil, obviously. Oh, wow. There's something down below. It looks like a huge submarine with markings that resemble biohazard symbols, and could the flag really be Japanese? Focus on the mission, Agent. I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk those pasteurizing big shots call us in to mop up. Time is running out. Get your ass on the objective. Over. Okay. So yeah, um... As many times as we were in that area, not once did that F button show up. Again, two or three times. Yeah, my boat. Ooh, excuse me. And, as I was saying, with Resident Evil, it takes more than two shots to take these fuckers down. Even when they're already down, they, they, they're still not dead. At least these guys, they die in two shots. Oh, this guy doesn't. Okay, I spoke way too soon on that. Yeah, I didn't. No? That guy was tougher. It's weird. No, you're still up? Get down. Now, of course, these guys are going to start getting up, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fuck, man. I'm, I keep trying you to dodge for some reason. Motherfucker. I don't know why, but I keep trying to dodge, and that's kind of costing me.
We're not going to do that yet. I know we can, but I'm not going to just yet. Jesus. Okay, please, please go down. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wow. Very finicky with the bullets. <laughs> huh? You. Oh, thank you. Please pick them up. Thank you. It's very, very finicky with the bullets. I need to retrieve Caster for. Oh, okay. Well. The app to mission control. Elvis has left the building. We out here. I thought that was a cutscene. I was about to get ready to chill. Mock, a sample I have to recover is inside this chamber. I hear a reindeer somewhere. Yep, I'm out. Sounds to be very close. Oh, there it is. Huh. Cool. Okay, so that's awesome. They're they're very easy to find because they're very loud. Oh. Oh, nice. Nice. I love it. Combine. Combining items from the inventory tab, it's possible to combine certain items and create new and improved ones. Uh, rapid use fluid. Rough. Oh, Bob, that's rough. <laughs> uh, I'm stretching. Hold on. Yeah. By combining basic ingredients, looks fucked up. I know it does. Uh, with hexacore additives, the player can create items usable from the quick slot submenu. Uh, mixed and concentrated rough. <laughs> By combining rough of the same type, a significantly more powerful version of the original will be created. Created. Alternatively, when you combine rough of different types, an item wielding the base properties from each will be crafted. Okay. Holy fucking Jesus, man. Why? Why? Why do you guys gotta sneak up on me every fucking time? You can't- you can't just fucking attack me from the front, you fucking coward. You gotta attack me from behind all the time. Why? Why? Why always the front? Energy drink. Cool. Or why always the back, I mean. Why never the front? Always gotta catch me off guard. I'm never ready for it. I will be ready for it. I just gotta 
Well, see, here's the thing, too. Like, it's actually been a hot... Oh, hacking system. Uh, now, it's been a hot minute, like I mentioned last night, since I played any any type of horror game. I've been mainly playing games that are just more action-driven and shit. Well, in open-world stuff. So, obviously, I'm kind of out of my groove for playing horror. I need to get back into it. And then I'll start getting used to, you know, things being the way it is. <laughs> Again. Alright, although some doors and lockers are firmly shut with a security system, they might just contain rare and valuable resources. It's possible to crack the system with the hacking did function. What are these acronyms? These acronyms are too, are, are fantastic. Uh, to begin hacking, you need an override cable. <laughs> oh my god. To successfully, to successfully hack into the system, you must stop both cursors while they're inside the moving segments. When you stop one in the, cor uh, in the correct position, a countdown will begin. When the countdown reaches zero, the hack has failed destroying the cable. Oh, hey. So I gotta be careful with that then. To be fair, I don't know why I would want to go in here with that thing in there. Is this gonna hurt? Nope. Alright. Hexacore Biogenetics Encrypted File. Okay. I saw that there was a link there. I wonder if, Wouldn't that be funny if that was an actual link? Why is the music... Why is the soundtrack getting a little more intense? I don't like that. It's not awesome. Let's try this hacky do, hacky thingamajig. Okay, easy. Start the hacking process. Alrighty, boom, and boom. Got it. Yes! Fucking right. Easy. Oh, so easy. Okay, got some OIMO. That's a file. So yeah, you do have to get really close to something for it to for you to actually find out that it's an item you can interact with. That's how I didn't know that console back there to open or to be have give me the ability to open the roof. That's how I didn't know. Yeah. Well, the more you know. I swear to God, if that is a Discord notification... Of course, I have to check. Like, I don't know. I'm just... Oh, no, it was Twitter. Not even worth it. Cool. Oh, okay, another one. Cool, thanks. So, that was it? I mean, I guess this was a good room. We got a file, and we got some syringes. We got some ammo. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of worth it, I guess. It's funny. Did you see that? Hold on. Push. The door says push. But it doesn't push. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh my fucking why? You need to mess off. Oh my fucking Jesus, man. Why? Every fucking time. Stop attacking me from behind! I will fuck you up! And of course it's something I'm not expecting.
But again, I will be, I will learn to expect things like that because I am now playing a horror game. First time. How long has it actually been since I've actually sat down and played a horror game? I think it's been quite a while. Because, well, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's see. We were, we were playing Death Stranding. See, I'll, obviously these games I'm going to be naming off aren't in the exact order, but just the games I know I've been playing since I've actually played a horror game. Uh, when was the last horror game we played? What was the last horror game we played? Wasn't it Resident Evil Village? See, I don't really... Th I don't really see... I mean, it, it is a horror game, but it wasn't really all that scary. Except for the fucking baby. I... Yeah, I, Yeah, Resident, Resident Evil Village was the last horror game we played. Did I say Resident Evil 7? By accident? Either way. That was the last horror game we played, and that was... More than a few months ago. Can't really give an exact date, but... That was more than a few months ago. And then we went on to, what was it, Death Stranding, and... Or was Death Stranding before that? Either way, we had Death Stranding, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, plus the plus the two expansions. Watch Dogs Legion, plus that expansion. Uh, we had Biomutant, but I kind of... It's a fun game, but I don't think I'm going to continue streaming that. Just probably a game I'll play on my own time. Um... What other games did we play? Well, recently Far Cry 6. And Guardians of the Galaxy. Basically, we've been playing a lot of games that weren't horror game. Horror related. The last horror game we played was Resident Evil Village. It was. Shit. So yeah, this is the first time since then that we've actually sat down to play a horror game. <sighs> Probably has to do with the chamber's cooling system. Okay. So, it, like I say, it's going to take me a little bit to get back into the groove of the horror environment. You know, learning to always keep my shit, keep, you know, keep checking my shit. Did I just... Yeah, I came from here, right? Yeah. Always learning to keep checking my shit, and yeah. Anyway. Okay, this is a long read. That's a really long read. Researcher Diary. Damn. It's eight pages. Eight pages of a lot of reading. Do I want to? I kind of want to, but I kind of don't. Because I know, I know obviously reading documents and shit... And files from video from games there's a lot of story and lore behind all of that and I know I should read them but I do go back and read them at times um, but still I do know that most games have more of the story and lore uh, implemented uh, uh, um, implemented in their files and you know, documents and shit. Uh, fuck it, we'll read it. Archive file. This diary belonged to an Aegis, an Aegis researcher. Some of the dates are circled with red ink. 1995. <clears throat> uh, Polex. We can finally create the perfect soldier. Strong, resilient, and self-repairing. Oh, love the sound of that. Not really. And to think that most of the grunt work was done by none other than Mother Nature herself. For some reason, the local jellyfish, which are already capable of amazing regeneration, in inhabited the sunken vessel where, uh, whereby they became exposed to the chemical agent. From there, they reproduced generation after generation, growing stronger with each mutation that altered their DNA and birthed hybrids. Oh, that just sounds lovely hmm. we studied these new aquatic life forms outwardly similar to hydra i'm not even going to pronounce that but far more so yeah if i didn't read that i wouldn't have known about this self-regenerating fucking potential creature that i have to fight um aggressive and much more dangerous 
In time, we'll use our study to create a new virus that can turn regular soldiers into genetically advanced war machines. Yeah, see, now, I don't like the sound of that. Because that sounds like something I'm going to have to fight. And I don't like it. Hmm. But in the meantime, all we can do is wait for the government to fulfill its promise in order to begin human trials. We've only been streaming for an hour and 15 minutes. It feels like so much longer. Uh, 1997. If I think back to the to just a few years ago, it feels like a century ago, although Castor is now the pinnacle of modern BC warfare. Uh, Polex, I don't even know, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I think I am, so I'm gonna keep doing it, is also on track to fruition. Alright, uh, the Hydra, whatever, uh, finally gifted us its firstborn. We've had a major breakthrough. A passing of the torch of sorts, even if it would be foolhardy to hide the fact that we need more time. Time is something that army and government officials just won't allow us. <clears throat> They've promised Pollux to their uh, to their allies, and Pollux they shall have. The only issue we haven't been able to solve, one that puts the entire program into jeopardy, is this. The perfect soldier we've prototyped is anything but perfect. We've injected the virus into hundreds of candidates with wide genetic variations, yet we're nowhere near a solution. In fact, in just a few minutes, the virus begins to strengthen uh, its host. Oh, 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 I thought for a second there you just said it begins to strengthen its host. Oh, that is what you said. Okay. Cool. I'm so lonely. Well. Show of hands. Who here is looking forward to me fighting whatever? If this is a potential thing I have to fight, show of hands. Who's going to want me to fight it? Although. Not like I'll have a choice in the matter, because I'm going to fight it anyway. <laughs> love it. Virus begins to strengthen its host. I love it. Ah, yes. Kenny, show of hands. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Not that I'll have a choice anyway, but it's good to know. Yep. Okay, moving on. Uh, although no visible external changes are apparent, in just two to three hours after infection, Pollux is able to, rege to regenerate cells and tissue, progressively increasing the power and resilience of its host. Oh, that is just fantastic. Yep, just great. This is a truly remarkable accomplishment that will advance medical and military research by decades in just a few short years. If not for the grave side effects that have afflicted almost every subject during experimentation. <clears throat> All the physical enhancements afforded by the Polex virus are subordinate to a single uh, in inescapable necessity. The host's assimilation of specific hormones that balance and regulate the body, which are otherwise produced by the Hypothal hypothal hypothalamus 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 there we go nice hypothalamus uh, as long as large enough quantities of these hormones are assimilated in concentrated doses due to the demand of accelerated metabolisms in enhanced organisms the subject's psyche remains lucid and aware while strength resilience and regenerative regenerative powers remain under control oh my god this just good luck and i'm just being a smart ass you got me laughing like crazy nice nice i try my best to make people laugh i try well yep so this definitely does sound like a creature i'm gonna have to fight if, it, if it's a creature at all, you know? I don't know, just usually things like this when you read it, usually an indication you have to fight something like it, eventually. 
Um, all right. However, when these hormones become absent for prolonged periods, the first signs of mental deterioration appear, causing blackouts and gradually destroying all forms of conscious decision making. Oh, that's great. Uh, after that, in most cases, the body undergoes unpredictable physical changes that lead to its eventual total destruction. What we need to accomplish in the remaining months afforded by the study is to find a solution as the project as a whole is at stake. 1998, the current year of this game, and the year that my buddy Kenny was born. October 30th, 1998. All right. Government agents regularly visit the lab and help themselves to experimental data samples from the most important studies. We've lost a lot of sleep in the past few months, but haven't been able to figure out the hormone dilemma that's been plaguing our research. Other than administering a large amount of synthetic hormone to Polex infectees, the military and strategic purpose of viral weapons is to keep the host in an intermediate state where, whereby physical abilities are greatly enhanced, yet always under conscious control that responds lucidly to orders. The only way to achieve this is to force subjects to inject, inject themselves with hormones. All of this, of course, is inevitably subject to a series of unknowns that the military doesn't seem to care about. I wonder what would happen if... Correct, bro. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if one of these subjects turned against its creator, intentionally or not... Uh, intentionally or not able to take the synthetic hormones, among other things that are limited on Battlefield. Unless subjects are damaged beyond regenerative capabilities, these potentially unstoppable and lethal soldiers could go on a killing spree with no one to stop them. That is, until the absence of the, ne of the necessary hormones causes itself its own self-destruction. So... A lot of this sounds uh, sounds like most of these people in this facility that we're currently in got fucked up. That's my prognosis. They got fucked up. It's pretty. It's a pretty. It's a pretty uh, solid theory too. Case in point, all the bodies. Um. Yeah. So everybody got fucked up. Immense. Immensely. And, uh, all these zombies that are around, probably due to this hormone. Yep, it's definitely due to the hormone, because I just read something that I shouldn't have read just yet. Uh, my eyes, my eyes just happened to look in that area. Anyway, um, and this isn't really a solution, as one test showed when a subject infected by Pollux. Okay, so yeah, the Pollux virus is definitely what's uh what's what's happening right now that's why that's what caused all this death yeah that's nice pollux virus lovely all right uh infected by the pollux somehow gifted with increased intelligence took a researcher captive inside the lab oh wow so, not only does it make them into zombies, but it also makes them into, like, aware zombies, which was stated in what, a couple pages ago, a page ago. Um, wow. Yeah, so it, this is, it, yeah, obviously this is crazy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, after several hours of negotiation, the subject, uh, ob obviously suffering from mental deterioration, tore open the researcher, oh god tore open the researcher's head and devoured his hypothalamus in a grotesque feeding frenzy that afforded it the necessary hormones it was lacking. Jesus Christ. This extended its life by several hours and it regained some intelligence that was lost during the experiment. As far as I'm concerned, despite however many years I've, I've dedicated to this program, PLX-731 is officially just another failed bioweapon experiment. The reason for its failure lies in the inability to produce, even artificially, the necessary hormones to maintain life and sedate its host. Apparently, however, the higher-ups have their own ideas regarding this. All we can do now is narrow down the search and do what they tell us yet again. 
What do you have for supper tonight? I already had supper. I had uh, pasta with vegetables. What did you have? Wow. Yeah, there was something else here, right? Yeah. But don't be a long read. Okay, two pages. Note to supervisor. Subject. Maintenance and renewal of containment rooms. Dear Dr. Everett, By now, you're probably sick of my many appeals, but I really must insist that the maintenance system for controlling temperatures in the containment rooms be remedied immediately. Hot dogs for supper. Nice. I haven't had hot dogs in a little over a year, actually. Actually, probably going on two now. I don't eat hot dogs often. I like hot dogs, but... No, it hasn't been two years. Probably just a little... Little little over a year. Maybe. I know it's been a while. Uh, Alright, where was I? For controlling temperatures in the containment rooms for uh, be remedied immediately. The system is supposed to um, automatically turn on once the air reaches a, speci a specified temperature. Instead, I am forced to send one of my people to adjust it at the terminal outside the room, which regulates the level of nitrogen by a spectrum every six hours by hand. By hand. To avoid further inconveniences and to fulfill your managerial responsibility to mend the system, please, please send another technician to the damn machine. I sincerely appreciate the assistance. Dr. Jeremy Falk. Lead researcher of BL1, Aegis Lab, North Blue 2 facility. I, I, I. Oh, yeah, they're the jellyfish. Damn. God. Did you start twitching? Fucking start twitching, I'll, I'll kick your ass. I'm pretty sure I searched everything in here, or everywhere in here, in a small room. There's no way I could have missed anything, right? Right. Whoops. I did not mean to switch to the powerful ammo. What? Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I should grab Pollux first. Ah, oh, yeah. And then, wait, start the readjusting process? Yeah, I'm just gonna skip, because I don't want to waste time on that shit. <laughs> I'm so glad they added that feature for people like me that just don't really want to, that will try it, but then just say fuck it. Retrieve the sample, the viral, Did not like the sound of that. Was that... Okay. So that was my... Those were my footsteps. But now we got this thing. Oh, this is nice. This is lovely. This is really lovely. And you can fucking run, dude. You can run. You can actually run. Cool. Cool. Oh, this music. Okay. just gonna take this oh amazing why okay dude okay okay dude 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 okay, 
You're good. You're good. You're good. I can run backwards. Nice. Are you down? Are you done? Are you done? I think you're done. That was actually less intense than I thought. Huh. Okay. Cool. We're done. We're good. That's what... Uh, I knew it. I fucking knew it, dude. I knew it. I knew that wasn't to be trusted. Okay. Oof. Please don't. Please don't come back up. Liev to mission control. PLX 731 sample secured. En route to second helipad for extraction. Do you copy? Good job, Agent. But I'm afraid I have some bad news. The objective of this operation has been updated. Agent Krychek and Wes have disappeared. And until they've been found, we can't allow you to leave the building. Your new oh, objective man. is to complete the mission of the Epsilon team and download all the research data on your DID. Please confirm status update. Over. New objective confirmed. On my way. Over. Sure. I'm just a war dog, after all. That's right, the door. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting game so far. I'm actually quite enjoying it, not gonna lie. But I want to go into the women's washroom. Come on. Oh, God. No. Just... No. How about no? Really? One shot to the head killed this guy? Okay. Cool. We're getting all the syringes. Can I just... Oh, fuck. Switch the ammo again by accident. Oh, deposit the viral. Leave behind. What happens if I don't? Okay. Why would that give me an option? Shit. I absolutely have to recover those samples somehow. Okay. For a second, I thought that was a robot. Agent West looks like some asshole Gundam now. Damn. Sandman, do you copy? I found West's body. Looks like he was shot to death. No sign of Crycheck yet. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, God damn this cocksucking storm!
I was not expecting that dialogue. <laughs> God damn this cocksucking storm. You want to give me your ammo there, bud? Hmm, guess not. Ah, yes. Give her. Oh, hard? It's so hard. Fucking bitch. There we go. Oh, we got it. Nice. Got it. We got it. I think that was the last one, too. I think that was the last cable we had. Little drops, eh? Are these the regular bullets? Or are these? No, I think... Yeah, these are the regular bullets. That's all that was in here? Two things of bullets? I mean, it's nice, thank you, but... I was kind of hoping there would have been a little... There would have been more in here than just two cases of bullets. Please, nobody sneak up behind me like they always fucking do. Thank you. I am, I am gonna, however, go back because I don't trust that body on the floor. I don't trust this body at all. Come on, bud. Hey. Okay. Interesting. Thought my I thought my crosshair my crosshair looked like it was right on him. But I guess not. Oh, I don't like this room. I don't like that room. It's too open. Oh, oh god, no. A room that's too open is never a good thing in a horror game because that only that only means slaughter. <laughs> Oh, okay. Probably can't even use the elevator anyway. Well, try it anyway. Nope. Okay. Out into the lobby we go. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Where? Oh, you're up top. Okay, I see you. I'm not allowed. I'd very much appreciate it if you would stop breathing in my ear and growling and grunting in my ear. Can't leave the facility. Ah, oh, there you are, bud. Okay. Wow, head just clean off. Wait. 